okay, I have the Texan S8800 out here. I'm trying to map through some of the birdies I find on the HF spectrum uh, here with the S8800. And I thought I'd show what a birdie uh, looks like on the S meter, what it sounds like when you tune across the bands. Uh, pretty much any receiver is going to have a birdie somewhere uh, within the short wave uh, bands or the medium wave bands. Uh, so, right, I found a really strong one on 16,000 kilohertz here with the S8800. So I'm going to tune to it. Right now, you can see the S meter is down pretty low, if you can see that. And uh, as I tune up, you hear a little bit of a noise, a little bit of a hash in the background, and you see that the S meter's uh, going up a little bit. There's some signal there. And then on 16,000, full S bar, S9, really, really loud noise. And as I tune away from it, it gets a little quieter. Sounds about like it does on 15995. It's five kilohertz up. So this is a this is a birdie that's about 10 kilohertz wide. And as I move away from it, we get back down to a normal noise floor. Now another way you can test is if you turn off, like on the S8800, you can actually switch the antenna to external antenna. And since I have no external antenna hooked up to it, you're basically killing the antenna altogether. And you can see the noise is still there. That's how you know that it's an internally generated noise as well. Could also be something local causing the noise, but um, I've tried to remove all those obstacles uh, now. So that is what a birdie sounds like. And this one's on 16,000 kilohertz. This is not in the way of anything I would normally listen to.